Magnetic field on the axis of a circular current loop. Consider a circular wire loop of radius A located in the YZ plane and carrying a steady current I as in figure. Calculate the magnetic field at an axial point P a distance X from the center of the loop. Now, <clears throat> you can see that this wire is on the YZ plane. This is the x-axis and we're looking at a distance x from the center. We want to know the magnetic field at this point. So if we pick a ds vector, uh, because the current is flowing in this direction, if we pick a ds vector here, a current element, then r hat will be the unit vector pointing from the current element towards the point of interest. And the angle uh, between ds and r hat uh, we have to determine but this uh, ds is on the yz plane, r hat is on the xy plane, so we can see that ds vector will be perpendicular to the r hat vector. And we want to know the magnetic field at this point using the right hand rule. If I uh, point towards the current direction on the ds vector with the four fingers, curl them towards the r hat direction, and my thumb points basically in this direction, uh, that is 90 degrees angle with respect to the r hat. So it's perpendicular to both ds and r hat at the same time, remember. So this makes an angle theta with respect to the x axis, let's say. So this is my uh, 90 degree angle here also. Therefore, this angle will be 90 minus theta. This angle will be theta. Okay. So I start by noting that ds vector is on the yz plane, r hat vector, r hat vector is on the xy plane. <clears throat> Therefore, I can see that ds vector will be perpendicular to the r hat vector. And from symmetry, if I look at the y component of the magnetic field and z component of the magnetic field, I know that these will be zero. Why is that? Let's take a look. <clears throat> so if I follow this db vector here, this is going to rotate. If I pick another current element here, for example, a ds cross with r hat would give me a vector. Um, ds cross with r hat would give me a vector that's perpendicular to this uh, in this direction. So this vector will be rotating here. So as this current element changes, this vector will be rotating. So I can see that the y components and the z components will cancel because this vector rotates. So it's going to have only an x component due to this finite angle with respect to the x-axis. The perpendicular component is going to cancel. <clears throat> so um, the x component dbx will be db cosine of the angle theta with respect to the x-axis. So dbx, dbx is Bios of low mu zero i over four pi. ds cross r hat is just ds because r hat has unit uh, magnitude and they're perpendicular to each other. The distance between the point P and the current element is a square root of a square plus x square because it's the hypotenuse of this right triangle. So uh, r square is then a square plus x square. And then I have, uh, because this is the x component, cosine of the angle theta. So if I want to find the total x component, 
the x components will add up, integrate over the full circle dbx, I have mu zero i divided by four pi integral ds cosine theta divided by a square plus x square and for cosine theta from this right triangle here I can see that it's a divided by square root of a square plus x square so cosine theta is a divided by a square plus x square square root so for the magnetic field x component I will have mu zero i over 4 pi uh, cosine theta is a over square root x square so it's a divided by I had square root of a, a I had a square plus x square already so a square plus x square to three halves so this multiplied with square root of a square plus x square gives me a square plus x square three halves and then I have to integrate ds so this is uh, mu zero i over 4 pi you can see everything here is a constant x is a constant a is a constant so they come out of the integral uh, then I have a over a square plus x square to the power 3 halves and integrate ds over the full circle you will obtain the circumference so that's just the 2 pi 2 pi r or 2 pi a because a is the radius of this circle so this 2 pi makes this 4 pi 2 and I reach my final answer then the x component of the magnetic field is mu zero i so I have two a's here I will obtain a square mu zero i a square divided by 2 pi and 4 pi cancelled I am I'm left with 2 at the bottom 2 a square plus x square to the power 3 halves so that's the uh, magnitude of the uh, magnetic field at this point so calculate the magnetic field so we're, we're talking about the magnitude of this magnetic field okay and it's in i hat direction so bx vector in i hat direction now I want to check a limit what happens if x is equal to 0 then I'm at the center so that means I'm at the center of the current loop so the magnetic field will be then mu 0 i a square divided by 2 now if I substitute 0 here this will give me a square to the power 3 halves which is a cube 2 a cube and that's going to get rid of this square on top and I will be left with mu zero i divided by 2a which is the answer I found in the uh, previous calculation and another limit I want to check is what happens is I'm at a very far distance if x is much greater than a then the magnetic field will become uh, mu zero i a square now if x dominates over a I can neglect a here this becomes x cube mu zero i a square over 2 x cube uh, and uh, the magnetic dipole moment is the current multiplied with area i pi a squared so you can see that if I multiply this by pi and divide it by pi so pi a squared divided by 2 pi x cube I will obtain mu zero i 
so sorry mu zero divided by two pi current times area is magnetic dipole moment mu divided by x cube so this is similar to the electric field due to an electric dipole which is k p electric dipole moment divided by x cube in the, here the constant changes it's mu zero over 2 pi and remember that the electric dipole moment is 2 a q the charge multiplied by the distance between the two charges if they are at a distance a from the center okay so uh, this basically tells me that the magnetic field due to a current loop dies off as 1 over x cube at a distance x from its um, at center if uh, I consider uh, this uh, electric uh, magnetic dipole moment mu. So uh, we we looked at the magnetic field on the axis of a circular current loop. First we noted that the current loop is on the yz plane, the uh, point of interest is on the x-axis and the r hat vector that is drawn from ds vector towards the point p will be on the xy plane for uh, for this case here so you can see and uh, because i've picked the current element right on top so ds vector is perpendicular to the r hat vector and uh, that's going to be the case actually for all current elements here and uh, for ds cross r hat ds times one multiplied with uh, sine 90 i will get ds and if I look at the magnetic field as I go through this current loop for different current elements, I will see that this vector will be rotating. The perpendicular components will cancel. So Y and Z components will cancel. There will only be a contribution from the X component. And the X component is the B cosine theta, where theta is also the angle between R hat and the Y axis uh, in this case. Uh, so I have to write mu zero i over four pi ds cross r hat is ds divided by r square. R square is a square plus x square. This is a right triangle Pythagorean theorem. Cosine theta. So for uh, cosine theta, I can see that this is a divided by r, which is a divided by square root of a square plus x square and a and x are constant so they come out of the integral so i obtain mu zero i over four pi a divided by a square plus x square to the three halves so that's a, a a comes from cosine theta and square root of a square plus x square makes this to the power three halves now if i integrate ds over the full uh, circle I obtain 2 pi a the circumference 2 pi and 4 pi cancel I'm left with 2 at the bottom so mu 0 i a square over 2 a square plus x square to 3 halves and it's in i hat direction in this setup now uh, if x equals to 0 if x equals to 0 we are right at the center then the magnetic field will be mu 0 i a square over 2 a cube which is mu zero i over two a. That's the same answer we have obtained in the previous problem. And if x is much greater than a, then this a can be neglected with respect to x. x squared to the power three house becomes x cube. And current times pi a squared, the current times area is the magnetic dipole moment. So I multiply top and bottom with pi. I see that mu zero over two pi mu divided by x cubed is the magnetic field at a distance x from the magnetic dipole uh, at a far distance, which is similar to the electric field uh, a distance x, a far distance x from an electric dipole moment p.